All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Barnett Gatsy. Brian Barnett, B-A-R-N-E-T-T-G-O-D-S-E-Y, yes, dog, backwards, anyway. And B-R-I-A-N, which is my first name, Brian. My middle name is B-A-R-N-E-T-T, and last name, Godsy. God C, not good C, you know, or God say it's G O D S E Y. Yes, dog backwards. Anyway, so moving on. That may have been the last tutorial video, but, and it actually it is. So, tone ship. Let's make sure we're, we're still got the mic on here. Good. Okay. I just always got to do that. So, <clears throat> here's the thing that these guys have made a deal about, about tips and tricks. Okay. See, here's the thing. All right. They're going to tell you about how to do... I don't know why they have two different things about what does the population and cap effect. I don't know why that's there. You know. Uh... What can I do if I'm out of coins? We'll go over that in a minute. How do I get... How do I add friends in the game? How do I fin feed farm animals? That's not hard at all. Like, okay. How do I place buildings or decorations? That's the first thing that you do. I mean, one of the first things you have to do is you... you okay. Like, especially harvesting. I mean... Look, I can harvest right now. I don't want to. This space is just not there. Okay, and like, if you want to build, you just click on the hard hat. The hard hat is right there, the icon. Okay, and then you have your numerous ones. Houses, community buildings, factories. Farming, decorations is special. Now, admittedly, some things do not require population thing. But they do require gold or cash. You know... Like, that requires, you'll see that if it's in yellow, gold, whatever you call it, like where it says that instead of green, you'll know that that's what it is. But well, we're about to come across that in any minute. I love windmills as much as, will you stop going to the dark thing? I don't know. Okay, so, yeah. Ah, there are things as well. I forgot about that. They take, like, certain kind of gems to do it with. Don't really care about that. Ah, uh, there's that, there's that. Okay, of course, we wanted to have things in here for for cash, but, you know. Ah, there it is. Town of Dream sign. There's the first one right there. Okay. Another one, Dimes. So, there's got, I know there's, there's another one here somewhere. Wild Park. Each wild park decoration is unique and different landscape elements. Tap decoration once it's been placed and use the button to change it's like look okay that's kind of something didn't know that okay so we're not high enough but there's probably more that has to do with cash so yeah there's that so i would say that ultimately this has been the better ratio since i've had to do fresh i just wish they would let us have some of the old stuff in here it was part of the, even if you started, even if you had started after the fact that this stuff had been getting to end, and they didn't bother to let you get into it, or it had already ended. So, that would be something. Right now, we're still waiting on the Central Museum, and I'm waiting for another train to come back in, otherwise I can't finish the task. Because, see, it wants me to use these, right? Well, I'm not going to spend the gold or the cash on that. Nope. Not gonna happen. Because all I've got is one of those left, and it's, I wanna say it's TNT. I think that's dynamite, but I can't remember. Too bad you can't tell. Oh well. Either one does the job, except there is a little bit of difference. Dynamite head takes TNT to make, just so you know. Um. You have to have enough of it. You can put it a little deal. Ah, okay. So what we now, if dealer is back, we can finish doing this job. I'm going to say, 
Oh, come on. Watch the thing. Let's do some more. Let's do sugar cane next. Because, uh, I, I, you know what? I'm not worried about the, uh, I'm not sugar cane, but the sugar. Damn it. You could do it. And one of the things I hate about this is I'll shortchange you. That's not going to be enough. I mean, maybe it is. Most of the time. But right now, see, like, right now, it's not going to be enough. Because i got to wait for another load. That's insane. To finish this off with. Especially if it was, like, if it was, like, a 35... I think so far it's been the been, well anywhere between there and fifty two, which is crazy as hell. Or I'll get out. Yeah, cause see, I rearranged this so ultimately I'm gonna have my fields in front of my barn on this left side, as I keep um, you know that's what it's called anyway. Is where all of my factories for the not the factories really, or anything to do with feed mills and farms to do with animals it's going to be over there and on the opposite side of that is going to be the whatever you're called factories not the restaurants the restaurants are going to be nonchalant somewhere else because they're not really factories anyway but just the factories in general that has to produce produce stuff for me not just like cook it it's called producing Yes, restaurants produce, but they also have to cook it. Factories don't actually have to cook food. Did you know that? No, probably you didn't know that. They actually don't typically cook stuff anyway. So technically, that is actually a what makes it to be a factory. Now, the bakery is different as well. The bakery I probably should put and put with the restaurants, but I'm not sure about that. They're somewhere in between. Um, you know, so we're waiting out more of that, but anyway, so that is that, and I'll tell you what, though, let everybody know you now, we don't want to do that, <laughs> name all the characters, see, the thing about naming all the characters is, is half the time, you're not going to be able to remember their names, or because you're going to be like, uh, well, I don't know, hot girl that helicopters, hot girl that does newspaper, hot girl that does, does reporting. But there are two girls, you know, two hot women. One of them's, well, you know. And another lady, I don't know her name, she has to do with the co-op thing. And there's another lady that had to do with the, the shipping yard, I don't know her name. Well, I know. And there's that guy right there, he does something or other, and then there's... I guess Ernie. I know that, but I mean, really? Name all the characters? I don't know, man. And how do you feed farm animals? Well, first of all, you gotta have feed. Sometimes they 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 will provide you with some, but it's not enough. Like about three of them, that's not good. So just sell it. Whenever you do that, whenever they put it in your farm, because they will always do that for you. Which, I, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm thankful that they do that, but it's not enough. Because by the time you even get to that point, you're already needing more to uh, for supply and demand. And it's only a one-time deal anyway. So you might as well just take it, take the opportunity to sell it. Because, you know, or... Because <laughs> there's no point in having extra anyway, especially when you got to consider room as well. And I've already got stuff to mix up with. So that's that's a thing. So you always have to do that. That's how you do it. You just kind of drag that up and let it go right across the screen. If, it was, if this was on a uh, computer, you'd do the mouse. I don't know if you can do that on the deal or not. And... It also reminds me that... Uh, I think you can expand the storage for this. Oh, great. I didn't mean to do that. That was stupid. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Blasted. I hate that. I don't like doing that because then it fills up my room. And I don't like that. And the only time I do that is when I absolutely have to have it. So, where was it? Oh, 
crap. Now I don't remember. Uh, rubber tree, rubber tree, and... Ah, yes, rubber tree. Oh, and... Um, yeah, there's that. There's only about three of them anyway, I think. Yeah, oh well. There'll come about time when I'll have about more. But right now, that's the idea. And at some point, you don't have to expand your roads anymore. You can if you want to, but there's a certain amount of limit, so you have to be careful of that. So what you want to do ultimately is just back off from moving your roads upward. You can move them, you can expand them to the side, but you're going to have to back off there as well at some point. Um, but because uh, now it's more generally of the the farming equipment and, and buildings and stuff where you're going to put them at, you know. I mean, you know, it's going to take you a long time before you get done through everything. Oh, well, hey. What do you got for me? Oh, just a damn ingot. Ingots are coming handy to help out things, but I would make sure you have plenty to make sure you've gotten all your tasks done because you don't want to be like, ah, crap, I needed to do that and I didn't do it. Or if you're not worried about it, fine. But like, you know, when I mean tasks, I mean like when you up, do some upgrades, some stuff to your, like your bakery or whatever you want to do. I personally focus on the ones that are more important. Bakery, yeah, this should be gone down a little bit more, but you know, it's only a certain amount. I wouldn't worry about storage because, you know, it's just something you can, you know, you're just going to have to deal with that. And they really need to let you have more. So that's kind of stupid anyway that they don't let you have more storage anyway on that. And more timing difference. They should actually let you specifically. Because see, these generally are not a problem. It just depends on how many you have to have. Oh, my bad, baby. Oh, it's okay. It's all right, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's a good girl. I have to get me another chair before I can even bother to set up for um, doing this whole damn thing. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Oh, good. Yeah. Poor baby. Anyway. I feel sorry for you, baby. Look at all that sword down there. Coming back on that neck of yours. I could bite it off of you, but it won't work. See what happened last time I tried to do that. It lasted for a little bit, but you got upset at me. I'm just kidding, I didn't do that, by the way. So, now the question is, and now I gotta wait for, like, sugar cane so I can get more enough, and then I can start doing that. Because we gotta finish this off before 13 hours is up. Either way, I'm not sure I can get this done. This guy may be annoying as hell because he keeps popping up too damn much. But, don't delete it. I know it's annoying. I won't delete it. I don't care how annoying he is. You know. Especially if the uh, orders start piling up on you. Even though they're, they're technically not really timed. They may say, like, they're, well, they're timed and everything. They're not. The thing that's only timed is, like, these. Because it's worth it to get these done. So, you know, as long as you have plenty of time, which I'm about ready to run out until, like, trains come back and get me some more. So, they take too dang long. So, that's another thing. I gotta upgrade my train. So that it can go. See, the thing about upgrading as well, this is not a tutorial because we're done with tutorials. But, you know, is I believe you can only do so much. I can, I'm not, I can't do anything with it right now anyway, so... Yeah, you have to wait till level 2 to get the timing. So 
So I have to actually upgrade the experience. You only have experience and timing on any one of these trains. I can't believe the second line requires so much amount of ingots. Or ingots. Whatever the hell you call it. So, yeah. Experience is fine and dandy, but, you know, you also be, have to be careful because you only get so much ore. And you have to wait till you get more. Now, you know, I don't, I would go ahead and start doing as much as you can, and then wait till you get more and more, and then you know let it kind of pile up, and then do start some more mining, whatever. But still, let it pile up. Don't like completely use it all up in one go. You can a few times, but definitely because the more you get into the game, the more you're gonna want to wait till it piles up. Because um, at the beginning, it's not a problem. It's kind of like Candy Crush. Uh, only the, pro the fact that it's not a problem. So, yeah, building up more at the end at some point, even if you have to do it at the beginning at some point, it's fine. But, yeah, because, like I said, the more you get into this, the more you're going to be like, damn it, where's the rest of my stuff at? Did I need it? Uh, I need, I ain't got So now I'm screwed. Tattooed and blued. Well, you should have let it pile up. Because you've got a whole bunch you got to do. I'm not even sure if there's a maximum amount of feet you can go to. And I hope there's not because there's so many gym, there's so many central pieces you can get for the museum. And that can be hard as hell to get because they do it so damn random that you don't get always get a full set. You have to always keep going until it gets it to you. And it's fine. Because... Your main objective is to try to go through it all anyway until you find everything you need. You can't even always get gems or any extra tools that you need to go through the mine with. So, you have to think the best of what you get from your trains, unfortunately. Anyway, I'll see you all in another episode. Until then, later.